constantly. <coughs> Alright, what we'll do is um, I'll just tell him to get going, and then uh, Stubbly will join me at some point. I'm just going to tell Chris and Jared to get going, but uh, I will, I'm sure Stubbly is just, you know, uh, he, he asked if he wanted, and he gave me his Discord, but then he hasn't added me in there yet, so. <clears throat> like I said, I'll just tell him to get going, and then uh, Stubb will join at some point. about to get started here. So we got Hunt Down V versus Legend. I'm sure this is one that has happened quite a few times over the last couple of weeks. Alright, so <clears throat> we've got Jared playing light side this time with a plus 11 force uh, win in the first one. Okay, looks like Stubbly finally accepted me, so we'll get that going here. Good morning. Hey, how's it going, man? Doing good, sir. How are you? Good. Just, uh, just kind of waking up a little bit. That was, uh, that was me like an hour and a half ago or whatever. So when they first got started, so glad. Yeah, uh, I'm thanks sorry. For, thanks for joining me, man. <clears throat> All right. So now we got myself and Connor, yeah. aka Stubby. Thanks for having me. Thanks for helping out, man. It's always better to have a have a two man booth at least than a solo stream so i'm sure everybody else appreciates it as yeah, well yeah for sure well <clears throat> did you watch any of that first game between know, these I, two Jared, yeah i saw the second half of it um looked like jared really did a pretty good job of, of you know slowly playing all of its bullets and uh kind of choosing the battles that he wanted to yeah it was <clears throat> there was a lot of uh sort of set up early and they were sort of configuring out where they wanted their stacks of characters to be but yeah the um the ability to spread and go to the jcc and uh, play space and stuff just really uh seemed to be the difference there for jared but he got the plus 11 so um you know it's a decent right. win but not uh not anything you can't really recover from as uh mm -hmm. on the inverse there so definitely looking forward to seeing i wasn't able to check out any of the other streams was there any big surprises in the first uh First round. <clears throat> I think I saw um, Bastion playing some Bespin Clouds deck mm -hmm. that I didn't actually end up seeing in the end. I just saw like the beginning. Interesting. But uh, yeah, it started Power of the Hut. <laughs> um, the old and if and Mon trick and stuff. Yeah, if and Mon at the at the security tower, and um, I'm guessing it was like you know mining tricks and. You know, 
drain bonuses at cloud sectors. I'm not sure, but um. Huh. Well, leave it to somebody like Bastion to come up with something like that, huh? <clears throat> I know. I was saying to uh, to Ryan Serson the other day as we were trying to come up with decks for Worlds, it was like, you know, he was just throwing out all these crazy ideas and casual games, and I was like, man, I come up with a good deck idea once a year, and then I protect <laughs> it like it was, you know, my like bank it's your child, and, right? <laughs> and, and Bastion just comes up with these on the regular to the point where he's fine just totally testing them you know out in the open so that's just that's crazy looks like jared might have had a slight misplay on his first turn he clicked strike planning but meant to click brave resistance is what he's saying here in the chat so uh, don't know if that's going to set him I've back definitely done that before yeah it's uh when those cards are highlighted chris says you can undo that if you want because that does waste a strike planning pull and you only get two of those yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big swing if, if, you know, you mess that up and you can't get it taken back because, you know, your first layout, you're probably wanting to pull Ray with lightsaber and then, you you, you know, you want to save Leia for, um, you know, for later just because she's such a big part of this deck. But, right, she's part of your engine because um, you, you can trade her out for any character, you know, resistance character with ABR that you want, essentially, like... Um, and, uh, yeah, and you know what's interesting about this new HD is that um, it doesn't have the stipulation that Skywalkers can't drain or battle uh, right. <laughs> while Dark Sides flip. So Leia is even actually, you know, even more valuable in this matchup now. Yeah, that's true. Whereas before, you really, you really had, you really had to pair her with a, a, a Jedi or, um, you know, figure something out there before you could really make use of her out of sight. Definitely. All right, so he gets the projection out first turn at uh, Vader's site. Um, he does play the uh, Luke's Hut, which lets uh, Darkseid get a, uh, a free shield, so that's nice. Pulls code clearance with that. So Chris did get the you know first turn Vader, move Vader over to the uh, Malachar site, and uh, he, it's normally a drain one while Vader's there, and then you add the Saber, but at least the first turn projection definitely helps. Uh, slow that yeah. slow that pressure down from HDV a little bit. HDV vest definitely one yeah, of the that... new dark side decks that we've seen a lot of this uh, last couple weeks. So, oh man, yeah, it's a powerhouse. Yeah, really, really um, is quite strong. But uh, we'll, I'm, I'm, I'd be shocked if Jared isn't running Menace Fades. Uh, and I, you know, I, I was playing no idea the whole tournament, and basically whether I beat HD or not, HDV or not, I, the, the, you know, was based on whether or not I got menace fades out before like turn four or something. There you go. Yeah. And um, I imagine this would be a that'll be a big factor in this one too. <clears throat> you know this. You know the the old HD I, I thought was really hard on Legend because uh, if you can get a turn one Vader out, you know those pains just really add up. But um, you know I think with the SSA start uh, that HDV allows you to do, you can really start stacking up damage just as quickly. You know Vader at the Malachor site, you know another Inquisitor with their saber at the um, at the uh, defensive perimeter. You know, you can be facing drains of six and, and pings on your turn pretty quickly. So yeah, we'll see how Jerry can uh, help mitigate that. But he's, he's got the Menace Fades out, which is obviously a good start. Yeah, Menace Fades uh, definitely feels... Oh, does he have Menace Fades out? Oh, sorry, not Menace Fades. The projection? Projection, projection right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I could definitely see Menace Fades being in this uh, Legend deck for sure, because your HDV isn't typically running a ton of space. Um, you know, I've seen some like basically Emperor shuttles, like a Miss Hunter, things like that. But you know, not usually. Um, they don't usually run their own system. At least the the versions that I that I've seen and the ones that I sort of have built don't really don't really uh, intend to go <clears throat> super hard into space. But maybe others mm -hmm. builds have been different. 
All right. So. It is, you know, it, it is impressive what what the shuttle can do with an Inquisitor and maybe Tarkin on board, and obviously the Emperor. Right. You know, completely he's immune. Two to, plus two nutrition. Yeah. It, it's a pretty, you know, and it, as long as you're not having to face down starship weapons, it's a pretty formidable. I think that's as formidable a, a, a compact space package as Darkseid has ever seen with this deck. All right, so Jerry's going to put the Moss Castle antechamber out. You can uh, download Aliens there, and it's a drain minus one, so that's always a good site. Interior, so no uh, vehicles and what have you there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Jerry's just going to draw. Not really, um, maybe he doesn't have his, his hand set up. One thing we've noticed about Jared, and at least the few games that I've streamed of his, he's not afraid to draw large hands. Last point, last mm -hmm. game, he had 20 cards in his hand at one point. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, I didn't see that. <clears throat> yeah, bad. yeah, it was a lot. Was like, he had like 20 in hand and like 16 in life force at some point. It was like, whoa, man, this is crazy. <laughs> You know, I mean, I feel like Legend is. Legend's you know, a difficult comfortable deck to play. At least I haven't. Stabilizing really... after like a couple of turns. Right, it does sort of seem like it has kind of a slow setup because you have to put Luke down, you have to kind of get your Octo sights or whatever going. But he's got 14 force he can generate every turn. That's it's a pretty good number. And uh, now maybe he can just start. Building his hand, uh, he does take the uh, Rogue One with an all wings combo. So there's a, a spaceship mm -hmm. he might be able to get get some dudes stacked onto, put it at Jakku and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, it's going to be Chris Kelly's third turn. I imagine he'll pay to drain and yep. uh, see what goes on from there. He runs the Hoth. 2-1 sight with slip siding away so that's always a good one you get a drain plus one and your weapon destinies are really good there so wouldn't be surprised if uh, the Malachor site and the Hoth site are the the places where a lot of action goes down this game so so far Jared has lost and he loses Rogue the Rogue one. one from hand and a Qui-Gon EPP Qui-Gon Jinn yep. <clears throat> Jedi Lev Lax Sivrak uh Tech for ISB, I'm guessing. Uh, yep. Fifth Shuffle and Padme. I think Padme is probably the, the biggest bummer of that bunch. Because mm -hmm. you can play some of those interrupts from from Lost with Solo. Um, yeah, Padme, yeah, you get a lot of Skywalkers. Padme would be really big. And canceling Vader's game text. Uh... And he lost the Jedi Lab, so if he wants to get her back at this point, um, he probably has to. Jedi Lab with Luke. I mean, sorry, with, with Solo. Which will stop his retrieval the rest of the game since code clearance, uh, code clearance is out. So yeah, those are. Some... I'd say we're probably not likely to see Padme. Yeah, that's that's true. That's the other. You know, Qui Gon is a, is a good character. There's no malls in this HDV version, but EPPs uh, that can right. swing lightsabers, draw on their own. You know, we saw with Chris in the first game. He he just didn't. He wasn't able to attack all the sites that Jared was able to spread out to. Like he had, he almost like marched Ray all the way over from Shizor's palace into the JCC because that was, you know, something he was sort of forced into. And Zam Wessel sat mm -hmm. at the sewer all by herself for like three or four turns, just draining or, or whatever. And yeah, I saw that. So, you know, it's pretty wild. Yeah, probably have a few more characters that you can work with in this legend deck because you're not re as restricted, but. All right, so we got the Falcon and Poe Dameron. So losing the Rogue One, you know, he knew he already had the Falcon, Poe Dameron there. When the Falcon is at uh, Jakku, you you get the uh, the Force Drain plus one. So and also puts a Lieutenant Tarn Meeson. Uh, that guy is okay. the is the Starfighter um, weapon guy. Oh, and also a concussion missile. So this is actually huge. Yeah. Because now Amara in ship is is a suicide mission, really. And same thing with the Emperor shuttle, right? Like a, a loaded, really, really big. a loaded ship. Um, if it just gets shot at by Tarn Mison, doesn't even matter if it hits it or not. All the characters are forfeit equal zero. Yeah. So that's um. 
Yeah, and he's really tricky too because I've seen some HDBs running the new or, or Hade Thrawn, and he doesn't even help against Tarn because Tarn's still firing, I think. Or Tarn, let me read Tarn's game text again. I think it's when Starfighter pilots fire, fires a starship weapon. So I actually don't know. Actually, does Hate Thrawn uh, cancel? Is that the it cancels the Nero? destiny? But it's still, but it's still shooting at it. Correct. So I, I think, yeah, correct. So, so that's a really big. I, I guess, yeah, Jared just. All right, and also a General Kenobi from. Uh, and I bet he kind of fades out soon too, and then we'll just I bet that was what. Yeah, so he gets Kenobi out, so now he could, and there's Menace Fades. Yep. So. Yeah, so he has Menace Fades enforced. So the drain, at, drain at Hoth is just one, and the drain at Malakur is just one, or actually zero, because of the projection, right? It's zero, yeah, but uh, he picks up Vader. Picks up Vader with the, flip. with the flip. So now he just takes that into hand. He can uh, use Vader next turn, maybe against Kenobi. Um, and all that good stuff. So, Yeah, I think the that, that text on 7-side HD that lets you pick up Vader once they flip you once a game is, is might be the best part of the game, of, of the new objective. It just requires light side to be so careful with when and how they flip dark side back. Because now, you know, you know, I, I'm, I would think Jared has a Hujix, but General Kenobi is definitely exposed. And with Vader and a Saber and probably an Inquisitor or two, yeah, you, you know, 16 I can't imagine. Force to work with. One thing that's kind of interesting, he, he picked up Vader, and then those two cards put him above, because he had 12 cards, and then he had the Vader and the Saber. Like, wouldn't it be crazy if you combined it with a used Monarch? <laughs> so you're like, okay, now you have now you have more than more than 13, and you just used Monarch, or used Grimtash, and just throw him away. That would be crazy. Yeah, that would be an epic play. <laughs> so, I'm... Seeing here on the Slack chat, it looks like Joe Olson has advanced over Fernando. Fernando okay. Fernando had a great run. Apparently, he just picked this game up over the summer and and made this top eight this this uh, year in Worlds. So, um, you know, great run by him. But uh, Joe Olson also had a really good run to to get into the uh, the top. Uh, top four of this event so there's definitely no shame in losing to to a player like joe but what a run by fernando huh yeah that, that's uh pretty special we were rooting for him on our team uh yeah outside of jared yeah. obviously um so that, but yeah i mean i think that anytime you, can, you see that i think it's um a good sign for the health of the game overall Right, I mean, if someone's able to sort of... Ba I mean, he says he's good at other card games. Maybe he plays Magic. Maybe he plays, you know, some other yeah. games. But just being able to pick up our game and, and get to the point where you're, you know, competing. You know, even just, you know, in the in the running, but also making the top eight and, and all that. That's, you know, mad props to, to Fernando. And I hope uh, I hope you keep playing. And, uh, you know, if, if you're able to make a top eight in your first major, there's, you know, the sky's the limit for you, man. Yeah, that's a really good sign for him in his future. All right, Blast Door Controls from Hand from Kelly. That's a, a card we're seeing a lot lately. It cancels, uh, you know, Barrier. Mm -hmm. It cancels uh, Blast the Door Kid. Um, and it's a Destiny 5, so against certain decks you don't need it. And then it's just a Destiny 5. So, oh, uh, we got the Grand Inquisitor coming out and uh, uses the um, Hatred card. And uh, Chris Kelly decided to let General Kenobi's game text get cancelled with uh, the uh, There Are Many Hunting You Now card, which I wish had a different picture on it because I Am Your Father and There Are Many Hunting You look like almost the same exact <laughs> card. <laughs> so Kenobi's game text is cancelled, so he doesn't yeah, have his immunity close. less than six. What's that? I guess that, I mean, I guess you definitely, 
uh, I guess, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, especially if you are assuming you're going to lose Kenobi anyway. Um, it doesn't really make sense to lose the Force just to protect his immunity. Maybe the the plus one to uh, Destiny would come into play, but... You gotta expect at least two characters but coming yeah, down. You gotta yeah. Ex- <clears throat> yeah, he's got the Vader, he's got at least, you know, the Grand Inquisitor. Um, so... Grand Inquisitors, uh, you know, the, the his game text has really, sh- you know, started to shine lately. He's really, you know, his uh, uh, his ping when a when a Padawan or a Jedi is lost um, will come into play here, and that's really gotten me a lot in my games. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, it's a it's a part of his game text. I forget a lot. Until well, yeah, he I'm he was released, forward. you know, back in set. <laughs> eight right or sorry set 10 and so it's been sort of three sets um of him being like the only inquisitor and now that we have four or five other whatever inquisitors to go along with him you know he's definitely getting a chance uh, mm-hmm. to 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 be a much more relevant uh character like he he really wasn't seen all that much i remember a lot of people played him in rops but that was just because he was an imperial who could draw destiny on his own with uh he also was a leader so right <clears throat> you know he wasn't really necessarily like your best character for Robs, you know, but he was in there just because he could hold a sight all by his own. But now that he's Destiny like three in this deck and Alright, so we got another Inquisitor, seventh sister. Attrition against you minus one with the Jedi is is one of her pretty cool tricks. Um and so yeah, we got three characters against this Kenobi and a lightsaber. So I would hope that Jared has a Hojix here. Didn't yeah, see. well, I noticed he saved two Force, uh, which I think was anticipation of First Strike, which did just come out. So, um, yeah, this will be this will be big if he doesn't. But I, I would <laughs> anticipate he, he he does. Yeah, we didn't see him pull it like we did in the last game. He had the opening hand escape pod, but uh, or um, Chris did. Sorry for the the lead side player in last game had the opening hand to escape pod. I think even Jared ended up having a, a masterful move pretty early, so we knew right away that both characters had their hoojicks and gicks, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think if, if if Jared does have a gick, I would imagine his plan is to let him, you know, throw out all of these guys down here to clear Kenobi, then he'll probably set up uh, at the Malachor site with his, um, you know, resistance characters and uh you know still satisfy menace and and then he'll still have his flip uh in his back pocket i think that that seems pretty good to me for for jared but we'll see we'll see it all depends on whether or not he has the hoojix here so we got or the what battle tricks he has up the got the battle here he's gonna retrieve no he cancels it okay um but uh jared's gotta lose one to first strike Loses an all wings combo from reserve. Lightsaber swing. So that's a three. He needs a four or higher here to hit. Gets a five. So Obi Wan is hit. And with I am your father, you gotta lose a force. Top deck's a rescue. And uh, gonna use the um, saddle game text to reduce power by two. Battle destiny for Chris is a overseeing it personally for three. So his total is gonna be 18. If uh, Jared can draw, okay, he draws a five. So he's got 11 to 18. So I mean, he's still down seven, so. And Obi Wan's forfeit zero, so that's that's enough where you where you're hoping that you got a Hujix. <coughs> Chris mm-hmm. loses uh, sister seven sister. Lose one to Grand Inquisitor for forfeiting Obi. Flips, HDV. and then he plays. Imbalance and Kinton Strider. To regenerate his topmost character, 
which will be Seventh Sister, right? Mm-hmm. And he loses. Um, but we're seeing it personally, which I think is pretty good tech for HDV right now. Mm-hmm. That's similar. We saw Leia of Alderaan in the previous game, and that's almost a mirror yeah. of that one, right? Yeah. Okay, so the Hoogic does come out. So, you know, there's a pretty big differential right now in terms of loss piles, but this is kind of what Legend is is set up for. Now Legend wants to, you know, establish its own site um, and, you know, start retrieval either through Rose or Pings through BB-8, uh, drains at Jakku, which will... will have a Jedi or a Padawan down to flip them to keep the drain bonus, but other than that... Yeah, I wonder if Jared just paid three to drain for one at Jakku, because I think he didn't realize the... Mm. Uh, either he didn't realize or he just forgot um, that the drain bonuses are... Can't, like When you flip HDB, mm-hmm. it's sort of like having Menace Fades active, because you cancel all bonuses. So that mm-hmm. was three force to uh, yeah, that's... drain for one. He still has enough to put out all these dudes. He's going Leia, Rose, Lando um, to the Malachur site. So, you know, he's got, like you said, he's got his site now okay. set up. Um, Chris has two sites. He's Menace Fades is back, so Chris isn't really interested in draining, you know, that much because he's you'd have to pay for drains of one, essentially. I mean, I guess no, it would be, yeah, it'd be one, right. one there and one there. Like, So we'll see what um, Chris can throw at uh, at, at Jared now. He, we know he, he has a sister. We'll see what else he's got. But, um, you know, he's only working with 12 force, so that's not a ton to throw down battle and avoid a counter beat. So, um, yeah, this will be interesting. Yeah. And he's already used his Hujix. So here's a Mara Jade EPP, which also might give us some information that there's not a Mara Jade ship in this deck. Um, not sure. There you go. That's a good point. I'm not sure if you run both uh, due to the Persona. I mean, I've seen some people running like HCF and a Solo, uh, but um, definitely could get yourself in a position where you aren't able to play a card if you have different Personas like that. Uh, looks like Chris might be doing a revert because he clicked the wrong character deploy. Yeah, looks mm-hmm. he did it. He put the ninth sister out, but I think he wanted to play a different character. <laughs> Seventh yep. sister, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. So, Chris needs to win by 11. Um, and right now, you know... So puts a hatred card on Lando. You probably want Lando's game text to. Well, this is a BB from hand. You probably want Lando's game text, so that gets you yeah, the extra, the extra um, battle destiny, and the ability to retrieve a force. Oh, okay. Maybe he lost <clears throat> the BB-8 on purpose from hand. So retrieve it and add two pi to Lando's power. Is that maybe what he's thinking? Yeah, that that would be my guess. Yeah, adding two pi to Lando's power is pretty strong. I'm just gonna go. On. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, Eric. In game one, it was uh, Jared by eleven, so I'll, I'll put that on the on the stream here. <clears throat> See, I think Chris is happy to just keep. You know, throwing things at at light side, causing pings with first strike, causing pings with um, hunting effect, just to get him as close to that eleven mark as possible. And I mean, he's not that far off; he's twelve cards away from from getting there. Right. So, well, he doesn't battle. So that that actually makes some sense. Because that turns menace fades off, right? Because you have to control. It does. 
does. Yeah. And, you know, he probably doesn't have enough for a counter, you know, to survive a counter beat there, so it's a good call. When, yeah, you know, <clears throat> if you battle, then they retrieve that BB. Sorry, I got my little walkling here. No, no worries. <laughs> Oh, that's a good uh, point there. Solid Snake in the uh, the chat. Okay, so... Might have to lose to First Strike first before he was able to retrieve that BB-8. That's a good point. But it's all moot now because no battle. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> all right, so now Jared's going to get a chance to take another turn. He'll, uh... I don't know why he's draining it, Jakku. Maybe he just doesn't... He only has six cards in hand. Maybe he just doesn't have a lot... That he's planning on doing. Well, he, he's not paying for it anymore. Oh right, yeah, he's not paying because he's got the site. So yeah, just easy, easy. Right, yeah, that was my mistake. So yeah, free drain of one, do that every time. And he gets the. Um, so yeah, I think I... retrieval with Yo with uh, Rose. So he gets the BB back. So I didn't see, um, I didn't see Chris pull the a Dark Jedi lightsaber with his objective but maybe he open-handed it yeah so you know it's kind of a it's going to be a bit of a tough call here for uh jared because if he attacks and flips to protect from from marjade's saber then he is exposing himself to weapons down the line but i don't know i think for jared you kind of have to kick chris off this site you know, there's no real choice. Right. You either got to get uh, the emperor off the table, or you got to try to get the. Uh, yeah, he's going with. Uh, mm -hmm. He's going with Lor and uh, BB down to the Malachar. So yeah. <clears throat> so that causes yeah, the first strike. Too. He'll get his Hoochicks yeah. back. It's always good to get your Hoochicks back. Yeah, that's a pretty big swing. Mm hmm. This is a Dengar okay, off the now. top. That's a good, Dengar is a good Have card. Lots of uh, yeah. lots of low ability characters in this deck. So you, two shots at uh, shooting those guys. Dengar is pretty mm -hmm. good. Plus against Watcher's Step, which is a much more revitalized deck. He draws a de extra destiny. So he's gonna go ahead and do his <laughs> legend uh, flip. Um, place Luke out of play. Flip. Uh, Flip your objective. And then for main battle, opponent may not fire weapons. <clears throat> so no um, no swing from EPP Jade. So I, I'm, I'm wondering if Jared knows... Oh no, okay, he just uses his objective to stack the two cards on reserve. So this will be good because for, for Jared because he'll probably clear them. Um, okay, that's a big card. Uh, yeah, adding a destiny where you have a hatred card. I not I'm kind of surprised that he didn't grab that one. Oh, and now yeah, he, he's I got the leadership. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but also has a know, used function, a right? Yeah, it has a used function because you does. can also stack things with it. But and then. Chris uh, grabs the leadership that Jared plays to um, basically cancel that destiny that was added. So, by, uh, Yeah, because I imagine he's going to use uh, Force Projection to try and not lose anybody. Right. Okay. And he's going to sack Walkling to get Yoda back. So he Walkling to save Yoda. Interesting. I mean, you do kind of need Jedi or... Padawans or whatever to flip HD back, but not sure how essential that's going to be. Gets the Yoda back, draws a Hear Me Baby yeah. and a Corn. Yeah, he needed eight or more to get both characters because they're both forfeit seven. So eight was exactly what you need to um, clear. But I think attrition against you is minus one with seventh sister. Right, so, that's true. 
I think he'll, he's hoping he'll just lose. That's why with a Jedi, to, you know, though. Differential. The attrition minus one is why with a Jedi, and there are no Jedi at that site. So I think that's currently not working. I, I think hatred card will also kick it in as well. Oh really? Okay. So, so I think. All oh, right. Will yeah. Take Jedi it Padawan probe droid or hatred card. Right. I didn't finish reading the whole sentence there. <clears throat> so, so that wasn't that wasn't great for Jared. That definitely wasn't the result he wanted. Yeah, he didn't do the projection at least that I saw. Or is the projection how you get must, the two cards? He must not have. No, I think he must have just thought he wouldn't be able to save everyone, so he might as well Lose save projection for later. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, you know, Jared still has his um, his sight pretty locked down. He had to lose the Lando, but um, Menace Vade still is um, not in effect, so he could face some drains this next turn, but... Uh, Chris also is going to yeah, need to that's, put that's some... What, I think that's the real, that's the real bummer about that. Yeah. But Chris is going to also have to put another character or two. And he's, those, Mara Jade is stuck on Malachor now. It's almost like he maybe would rather have forfeited everybody because he's got a four-card hand, and after he pays to drain, you know, he's only got, like, I don't know, it seems kind of weird. Maybe he's just going to gick it and sort of sacrifice uh, yeah. Mara Jade. He's only got four cards in hand, so if he puts down a character, he's not going to have a ton to draw into it either. So right, yeah. But again, I think Chris's game plan here is probably just again get below that eleven mark and uh, just kind of blitz Jared with with damage however yep. he can. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> All right, so here's the ninth sister what we knew he had because he accidentally deployed. So he did one of the drains, not both. Yeah. He did the emperor drain, but not the other one. He's going to go use the uh, hunting you now to put a hatred card on Leia. We'll see. Looks like Chris is okay with getting Leia's game text canceled. It's better... Uh, on your turn, because you initiate Battle Worth Resistance character and get retrieval there. So, I mean, she is immune less than four, but, uh, you know, you're not super worried about that. Oh, he also gets a lightsaber on to uh, yeah, that's... Ninth Sister. Now he's got two swings. Pretty big. So maybe you force projection here? Oh, no, because that doesn't. Does that cancel weapon weapons? or Force projection. Uh, it, it has a use function to make all your characters uh, defense, defense value, value five. equal five. I think you can only, but I don't know if you can play that once Luke is out of play. Right, right. Yeah, it's been. I, I haven't played too much Legend myself. It's always been sort of a difficult deck, so not uh, not one that I've picked up a ton with. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a first strike. Initiates battle. First strike causes retrieval and damage. Loses a Vice Admiral Holdo from hand. Mara Jade's going to swing at Lorsenteca. Draws a 1. Oh, I guess that's a 3 because of the objective. And yep. draws a 5. So yeah, Lorsenteca is sliced and diced. And that was Mara, so, so he's forfeit 0. Whereas the other lightsaber, it, it just you have to lose them and don't satisfy attrition, but they still count for like you know sucking up battle damage. You still get happening. forfeit, right? Yeah. So yeah, Lorsen's Echo forfeit zero because Mara Jade's is a good one, and then we'll see if Jared has an action. Maybe another. He would be able to play another leadership if he wanted to, but. I don't think he can because the first one was grabbed, and he has to pay to use an interrupt from first strike so we would actually need three oh you're fours, right so. you're right you're right yep yep i did forgot about that so that's uh, he has enough to play, yeah, I think play. In a tough spot. yeah tough spot for sure he only has seven power also like these these characters are not strong <laughs> you know, right four characters a total of seven power 
whereas dark side has two characters yeah. in 10 <laughs> yeah those draws were, were really brutal for um, Jared's last, last battle he really needed to clear that site yeah I think maybe he just forgot about the seven sister text because he <clears throat> he put himself exactly at eight maybe that's what he had in hand to use uh, with the put two on top text from the objective or whatever but if he could have gotten to nine, yeah. that would have been a lot better, because then it actually would have been eight, and then both characters would have been gone. So BB-8's hit, Lorsen Tekka's hit. I, I imagine, yeah. And then Rose will probably have to lose to Attrition. Oh, no, I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll be oh. all right. BB-8's got forfeit still, and he's forfeit four, so. Yeah, so so Jared's not out of, the, uh, out of it yet. All right, here comes the and, force projection oh. to draw destiny and subtract it. I don't know why he's doing that now. That was just a two. That seems like... I don't see why he did that. Maybe he doesn't realize that BB-8 still has still forfeit. forfeit. It's been a little sloppy from Jared. Oh, if, well, actually... If... Sorry, sorry, no, 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 no. He would, have, he would have had to lose Rose because, you know, yeah, he can't satisfy attrition with um, right, that's BB-8. True. So that's that actually true. does make sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but he still loses one because of the attrition bonus from uh, from the Inquisitor. Or the, the Des- Battle Destiny bonus. So, that's... Yeah, that's rough. Um, yep. Oof. This is looking tough on, on uh, JNapolit31. Yep. So, what can he do from here? Um... You know, he, he has Yoded somewhere, so I guess, I don't know if Yoda's doing much anymore. Uh, you can't really use him all that offensively. I mean, um, both players have at this limited point, cards in hand. First, right. Hmm. Yeah, so, so Jared needs to lose by less than 11 at this point. So now he's going to be thinking, so his, his game plan now changes. I mean, Chris like, has 32. You know, in Life Force. Like, it's 32 so, to yeah. 18 right now in terms of Life Force. So, if I'm Jared, I'm trying to get Yoda out so that I can flip, get my drain bonuses turned back on in space. But there's no um, battlegrounds for Yoda to go to that don't have a character at him. I mean, sure, the Emperor isn't all that strong, but he's got full immunity. I mean, you still got Leia and... Uh, you know, she's facing off against Ninth Sister. So, yeah, this is uh, this is a tough tough spot for Jared to be in. Plus, you know, I mean, obviously, yeah, Chris has to win by 12, but he's got 31 to 19 life force right now. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think probably Jared, if he doesn't have any other characters in hand... Which is moderately know, likely maybe, with a two-card hand... <laughs> I think, I think then probably what Jared does is he attacks with, with Leia, retreats two, clears uh, Ninth Sister and gets rid of the Dark Jedi lightsaber. Oh, he did oh, have okay. a character. He had a Ray. Ray. I'm guessing that's his only character that he had in hand because you would want to try to look at more cards in used pile with Ray. Yeah. So I noticed he used his objective to peek at the first two cards. Uh, right off the bat and i'm guessing he wanted to do that to see what card he could pull with oh and uh, he has the yoda with ray so he might probably pulled the flip? yoda with ray and that flips hdv back you think he'll take vader or that's a once per game to take vader right oh wow and he wow plays... this is actually this is a big comeback actually and he plays solo this is yeah so now he's got two life force he's gonna attack and now he'll Clear her, and I guess he's just hoping she does, uh, Chris doesn't have a ton to, to throw back at him. So we got two Destiny. But I mean, gets Rose back with the first strike, and gets the BB-8 back with um, Leia. I don't think he'll be able to pay for BB-8 actually. Oh, you're right. Out. You're right. But, he's out of force. But Rose is good. I'll yeah. take that. Rose gets you more retrieval, which gets you back into this. Uh... But I mean, he's got. One... Now I'm trying to think. He's got one card in hand. 
All right, so gonna swing at uh, Yoda. Draws a five for the first one, because Yoda will be able to flip him back if he can kill Yoda, right? Because he has no other Padawans. Yeah. Or, uh... Is Ray a Padawan? No, she's just no. a scavenger. Uh, I think so. <clears throat> wow, he draws a seven. Oh. Yoda is Yoda's sliced. Sliced mm -hmm. and diced. I guess um, a lot will hinge on whether Chris has Gick, because there should be overflow here for sure. Um, maybe he has another um, Destiny Adder that he could that he could put out here now. Yeah, four cards in hand for Chris, but um, so I mean he only has four foot of four and a power of five. So, like you said, very high chance of overflow here. So you were a little oh, choppy there for uh, that. Uh, that, that for Han. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, we know we had the oh, Jedi sorry, left. Yeah, I, might, I don't know if my connection's on there. No, that's fine. It was just that little, for the most part, it's been fine, but just that little bit there got a little little choppy. But, yeah, I mean, Solo could play maybe a Jedi Lev or, um, I'm trying to think of the other interrupts. I thought he, I think he retrieved the Hujix that was in there, but he doesn't need that. Yeah, maybe if he draws a, um, a character for Battle Destiny, could use Solo to, uh, get that in his hand mm -hmm. but he's going to draw the 5-3 right because this is the ones that he drew for Destiny against Seven Sister and Mary Jane oh no he drew 5-5 five, five. Yep. so total battle five, Destiny five. is 11 so 26 to 5 plus 6 so 11 to 26 and then he covers for 4 so oh he's going to cancel He'll that he'll redraw that yep So it's into a four, four. so a couple less. So he's got nine and then four, four. So thir he covers 13, but he, yeah, he's still down by um, 15. So if, yeah, if Chris doesn't have a gick, then this is real bad. But I'm guessing he's got the gick in that four card. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would guess that too. There's oh, why is that one still a six? From another me? force loss caused by the Grand Inquisitor, because that is a universal effect, which is really wild. Oh, right. Yeah. The Grand Inquisitor is insane. Chose to forfeit solo and uh, Yoda. Yeah, there's the gate. There's the gate. Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah, we're uh, hmm, this is interesting. So now the Menace Fades is back close. in effect. So those are just drains of one each. But no drain bonuses. Yeah, those are just drains. So now each Jared's to gonna it. take pings, and I, yeah, I think Chris just drains. I think Chris is gonna win this pretty easily. Because yeah, so Jared's got uh, one we'll card see. in hand, sixteen in life force. If he goes below, um, goes below eleven. That's where it starts to get interesting. Part of me wonders, and not to second guess Jared at all, but part of me wonders if it would have been better just to attack with Leia, clear the Inquisitor, and then put Ray, Solo, and um, uh, Yoda, Yoda down the next turn. Mm. But then, I don't um, know. You know, that's easy to say knowing that hindsight, it, I right? Think. Um, yeah, I think and Jared also you could kind of you could clear the, the emperor you can clear the emperor pretty early with legend because isn't there immunity restricted to less mm. than five? That's a really good point. Yeah, that that is true. Yeah, you can clear the emperor. And he yeah, and he has the. Uh, oh, there's the finally the uh, finally the uh, bridge. <laughs> Just get that get that zero out of your hand, I guess. So yeah, Jared's now down to no cards in hand and then 15 in life force. Whereas Chris Kelly's got two cards in hand and, you know, 28 in life force. He is going to have so, yeah, to draw a I'm, few I'm, cards, but... I'm thinking Jared's probably going to use 
the objective uh, force pile reserve deck peek to see if there's a card he wants to pull with Ray. So um, moving, and then maybe he can moving Vader yeah. over to the castle with force drain bonuses canceled due to menace fates. Does that do anything? Is he can he drain there at all? Um. Sorry, say that again? So he moved Vader over to the castle, which is the non-battleground, but force chain bonuses are canceled due yep. to Menace Phase, so that he just moved Vader Odor over for no drain bonus. I guess he can move Vader over now again in front of the, the Leia Ray stack. Yeah, I think that's his plan, yeah. It, it's just to, to you know get him in front of that drain yeah. and you know cause more damage. So... With swings and stuff. You've got drains of uh, one and one, or yeah, because that's a minus one at this one, right? Oh no, so it's one and two from Jared. Mm -hmm. He loses an accelerate and an aura, and then also a emperor's personal shuttle. And then Jared's just going to yeah, draw a few so cards, but time. now, now Jared is at twelve with three cards in hand. So I mean, this is this is getting real. So. So yeah, I mean, this is this is a tall order for for Jared. He's got to hope, I guess, he can get. Oh, now he is below. Hmm, I'm trying to think. He is below eleven now, because he's drawing up. To he's seven below cards. eleven, and now he's just gonna see if he can, you know, just straight get up, Chris below. Straight up win, or yeah, get 12, get Chris below ten, or yeah, at ten or below. Plays in right. all wings. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to think what. Jared still has left to throw uh, at at um, Chris and and Lando's gone, Qui Gon's gone. Um, I, is Chewie? Have we seen Chewie? Yet? We haven't seen a Chewie. Chewie. Yeah, we haven't seen a Chewie yet. But um, Chewie needs needs backup. You know, Chewie's game text will be canceled by Vader, so he's not all that great. Yeah. This is yep, tough. I think this is pretty safe to call for Chris, but well, we'll see. That's why you play the game. That's right. Chris goes ahead and throws out another grabber. Those are always good to have. Plus, you can always use that to retrieve a card as well. Fifth brother goes down in front of Leia and Rey. He's the one who's, okay. when he's with a Jedi or whatever, he gets the defense value bonus, but he also gets the power plus three. Or a, or a hatred card, so yeah. So yeah, he's power seven, because there's a hatred card there. And then he's going to stack another hatred card. Ray's game text will be canceled this turn. So you won't get the um, power plus one or the immunity. Also a seventh sister from hand. So I mean, Chris could yeah, battle, a lose a character, and then move Vader over. Yeah, I think that's... What I would do. Can't think of many tricks. Maybe uh, a reacting Poe. Poe's already on the table, though. Is the uh, problem? Or being a Finn? Sorry, a uh, reacting Finn, and the Destiny Adder effect. But that's not going to cause overflow at this point. I don't oh think. yeah, you mean yeah the um, yeah the you know, put Finn down and then play the. I'm getting kind of good at I'm this or whatever this. this. Yeah. Yeah, kind of good. At, yeah. That was probably Jared's last hope. I thought he lost that and, off a of top uh, deck to the four strain anyway. Okay. Loses oh. a uh, there is a react reacting Finn, like you said. Loses help me uh, Obi Wan and quite a mercenary combo to the first strike. And then P five nine. Oh, he also had P five nine. I don't know. I think I saw that guy come out. He's gonna shoot Finn, cause a yeah. couple force loss there. Jeez, man. You know what? I think. Hold on. Uh, so I wonder. So Jared Boss helped me Obi Wan Kenobi and quite a mercenary from hand. I wonder if he thought he was playing that to exclude P fifty nine. Um. I don't, maybe not. Maybe just figure it. He know, doesn't have a Jedi or a smuggler there. Yeah. Isn't that? Isn't that text oh, only thank work? You. Yeah. Yeah. If yep. he had, if he had exactly. Yoda, or if he had a Han Solo, then he would be able to do that. But yeah, you're you're totally right there. 
I'm still learning that card myself. Uh, I thought you could break the cover any time in the last game that I was doing. Wow. Like, oh no, it's only during move phase. Yeah, like, oh yeah. Fine, sorry about the mess in reserve. So. Okay. But he doesn't have any weapons on the table, so. That just gets a two out of your deck, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just gonna draw two. That's good for Jared. Yep, he got a five as a first one is very good. Because uh, I mean, I guess supposed to, the Inquisitors are pretty good forfeit. They both go for yeah. seven and six, and then P five nine, so four. So he does get a ten. So you can go brother and P five nine, and still keep the sister there. Move. Oh, he doesn't have enough yeah. force to move Vader though. Oh yeah, and uh, now he only has to lose Finn. Oh wow, that's hmm. that's interesting. Yep. So that, that's so, fortunate there for Jared, but I'm not it, sure it's going to be enough. I mean, Chris Kelly is still at 21, and Jared's at 6. <laughs> you know, and Chris Kelly just has to win by 12. Or 11 in Lost right. Piles. Well, he has to win there. If he has maybe another leadership, he can draw 3, attack, and still play the leadership. And then he's drawing 2 Battle Destinies. But, he's going uh, to have to pay... Know. He would really three need to... to stack the leadership because he's got two of them stacked. Exactly, but with and he's 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 only got he six. He can still he can still play it though. Yeah, he could barely still play it. He could battle, but he's he's not he's not doing it. He's not activating enough. I guess this is still his activate phase, but he's gonna take one into hand with rescue. which will give him a total of three in reserve. He, yeah, like, yeah, he would be able to, if he activated everything, he could battle and stack, but not draw any destinies. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. This is, this is a tough spot for Jared. So Dan says in the chat that Paul wins... I'm guessing he means Paul Myers against Bastion. That would be a pretty big win. Oh wow, that that is big. Beating Knocking him. off the two consecutive world champions. I mean, that's that's huge. Congrats to Paul. Yeah, yeah. Paul's having a Paul's having quite a year. He sure is. He's doing some Good Same, I was card. I was mentioning that about Jared as well. Like two two years ago, I, I hardly knew who Jared was, but now he's making OCS top eights, he's making world top eights, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, Jared has also had a pretty good last year, year and a half, give or take, as well. So it's definitely good to see. We got Fernando yeah. who had a really good worlds. Um, you know, his first major that I've I'm aware of at least, and uh, you know, so the game is is in a good spot, guys. Thanks for. We had like almost a hundred people playing worlds, um, and uh, it's it's a good time, man. This is I think set thirteen has really helped. I was the last meta before set thirteen with ISB. No idea was was not really my. Job. I know you you you're a big fan of No Idea. You were pretty much one of the first guys to really get that deck to work, but um, it just wasn't really my jam. And uh, I'm really enjoying the. Uh, the meta that we have right now. I think HDB, I think Watch Your Step, I think uh, Legend, I think Hitco. You know, there, there's there's good matchups out there, and, and it's not as just... I just feel like it was boring about, you know, for the last, like, year mm -hmm. or so. Like, this this meta, we've seen a lot more battling, a lot more balanced decks with space and, and, and ground, and I don't know, I just... Set 13, I'm a big fan. <laughs> So that battle goes yeah, the way of light lot... side, ninth sister or ninth brother, whatever his name is, fifth brother is lost, and yeah. uh, nothing really for. Uh... It was sorry, but the mess. That's what it was, huh? Yeah. yeah. So Jared's just basically trying to hold on to whatever he can. He's got here. Rose out to get retrieved, but I mean, with Rose 
but he's going to get pinged here for one and one, right? And uh, then Vader will probably move over in front <coughs> of uh, Leia and Rose, I would imagine. Yep. So Chris so, has 12, yeah. he's got 20, and Jared's got 5. And Chris just needs to win by 12. So being flipped, canceling the drain bonuses from Jakku. Yeah, I, I, I'm i having a hard time figuring out how Jared's going to do this. Yeah, there's the Vader yeah, move. Yeah, I know. Chris, you draw a card or two. So he can afford to. He's still sitting okay. Still got 17 yeah. life force. Jared's got mm, no cards yeah, in doesn't hand. Doesn't have anything in hand, so yeah, not any tricks he can pull. I think he kind of did a lot of his tricks a turn or two ago when he put Solo and yeah. BB-8 or whatever it was out. And so, I unless uh, yeah. unless there's like an on the edge or something weird like that, but he doesn't even have a rebel who he could target with <laughs> on the edge. You wonder if he might have yeah. wasted the the resources of putting, you know, the Tarn mice on and the concussion missiles. But I suppose if you didn't put that stuff out, you might be a little more attackable in space. But yeah, I don't mind that as much. It's two cards, and um, you yeah, know, Jared's you need, saying you need in the chat there. that he's out of gas. He might be conceding here. Yeah, yeah he's conceding. So um, Chris Kelly advances. Um, Congratulations, Chris. Congrats, that yeah. was uh, really well played. Yeah, I mean, both games were, really were pretty well, well played. played, but especially that first one was was uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, these games were both very interesting, but I think that first one was a lot more entertaining. This one, I kind of felt like Chris just kind of took it to him, really. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks, you guys, for, for tuning in. We have Bastion, who lost, and we have, so we have Paul advancing, we have Joe advancing, and we have Chris advancing. I don't think I've heard about the last one. Does anybody in chat know the um, know the result of uh, what was it? Desai and um, uh, Kieran. Is that one still going? I guess we could pop in there and see. But I think somebody else already has, and that that usually kind of ends up real, you know, lagging things out. So check out the other streams mm -hmm. if uh, if they're still going and. Um, I unfortunately won't be able to do much, uh, at least for the next for the semifinals. I might be able to help out for the finals, but uh, I got some real life stuff to attend to now that I've got done with this one. Thank you, Connor, uh, aka Stubbly, for hanging out with me for the last hour and a half yeah. or so. That was a lot of fun getting to do the commentary with you. It's always better to have a have a friend. Yeah, thanks for having me. No, yeah, yeah thanks a lot. For sure. Um, oh, and Kieran won. Is what? Uh, oh, so Desai's out. Uh, Bastion's out. Um, oh my goodness. So, do we have are any of the returning ch like like people who have won worlds before left? Because I think it was Bastion and Justin who were the only ones who won worlds before, right? So we will have a new champion. CK hasn't won. I don't. Okay. I think he's won the NPC. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't think. He yeah, so whoever wins, yeah, whoever wins. Yeah, whoever wins worlds will be a first time winner, and that's that's really exciting. I know Joe has won just about everything except for worlds, NPCs, uh, other majors, Endor, uh, things like that. So that would certainly be a big uh, notch on his belt. Um, guys like Kieran have been really strong in the past. Um, Paul, like you said, has had a really good year. Chris Kelly always, you know, in in the top. So yeah. I'm I'm excited be, to see uh, how these exciting. how these semis uh, go and. Uh, yeah, man. Thanks, guys, for, for joining us. And uh, stay tuned to the PC channel, and we'll keep everything going, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks uh, to you, Connor, as well.